Smoke bomb photography has been quite popular and is not going away anytime soon. Photographers have utilized smoke to create ambiance or provoke a quick pop of color in portrait, landscape, and abstract pictures. Smoke bombs are swift, simple, and eye-catching, enhancing your photographs when used correctly. Here's a simple tutorial for using smoke bombs to create stunning images. First, you'll need to find the right smoke bombs. There are many distinct sorts of smoke grenades on the market. Some come in a can while others arrive as sticks. Each variety and manufacturer works differently, so research each one's specs before making your purchase. Density, burn time, and activation method are key factors. Research the best brands, the best value, and the highest quality. Get some to test out. Use your test to see how long smoke bombs you like last and how many you'll need to use at a time to achieve the desired coverage. This will assist you in making a more informed guess when purchasing smoke bombs for a specific shoot later. When you add smoke bombs to your typical photo shoot strategy, you'll need to consider a few factors. Plan your shoot. Consider carefully the colors you'll use in the planning stage. A smoke bomb will add many colors to your environment, which you may take advantage of. Do you want your smoke to seem misplaced and in your face? You'll get that result when shooting near its matching hue. Make preparations for the weather. The smoke will dissipate more quickly in the wind and you won't be able to influence it. Bring your own wind with a fan if you want your smoke to waft around a bit. Even a handheld battery operated version will suffice and it shouldn't cost more than even 10 to 15 bucks. To make the most of your smoke, you'll want to get all your metering and composition correct before activating the effect. Don't forget about lighting. Don't forget about it. With speed lights and strobes, you may truly bring your smoke to life. The smoke that isn't completely opaque might provide some interesting light streaks to experiment with. If you opt to hold your smoke bomb during the shoot, move it slowly to get interesting trails instead of shaking it around in just one spot. If your model is holding the smoke bomb, ask them to walk across the scene with the smoke bomb before stopping and posing to get better coverage. If you're shooting with a tripod, you can operate the smoke bomb yourself. Research these products. Avoid burns or breathing in too much smoke. Focus on your primary photo objectives and have fun. Smoke bombs are all the rage. You just have to see the photos to know why. Just remember to use smoke bombs responsibly and dispose of any garbage.